can't be, Desiree. Not now, not ever. We're too dangerous! Dr. Marlin Gilgallan, we can save each other! No, we can't! Don't you see I can't be saved? I'm lost. No, you're not. You're right here with me. Where am I? This is not St. General St. Hospital. I thought this was never going to work. Like last time, I got just your lower half, but it was just the skeleton, which was weird. I don't know why specifically just the skeleton, but I'm Catherine, by the way. God damn it, woman! Did Dr. Kevin Randelson, my rival doctor, put you up to this? Oh, I bet he did. Well, he's been gunning for my spot ever since I botched his mother's facial inversion surgery. Tell me the truth. Wow, you're like coolest character on all my infections. You you save people and you say the dreamiest things and now you're here, real with me, I, because I used this, I made this. Ingenious. Well, take me back. Well, I don't actually know how to do that part yet, but that just means we get to spend more time together. This is nice. Isn't this nice? Nice. What would I know about nice? Growing up the son of a cold, unfeeling oil baron, and my mother, who disappeared off the coast of Martinique mysteriously in a boating accident. I know latex gloves. I know stethoscopes in my patient's hearts. And I know that the line between life and death is as fine as the point of my scalp. So hot. Hot? What would I know about hot? Except for maybe the warmth of my mother's bosom. As she embraced me before she walked out the door before disappearing off the coast of Martinique in a yachting accident. She actually comes back in season eight. What? Never mind. Uh, nothing. Uh, tell me about yourself. Do you have any hobbies? I collect mugs. In fact, I, uh, I found this one on kind of a bad day at a farmer's market. It's kind of a funny story, actually. You, uh, you like mashed potatoes? Mashed potatoes. What the hell would I know about any mashed potatoes? Except for maybe the mashed potatoes flung on the wall behind me after my oil baron father threw them at my Are you comfortable? Yes. Do you want to change? Change? You can't change me. I'm a doctor, damn it! No, I mean like other clothes. No, 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 no. Not today, Theodore. Not today. It's not your time. It's not your time. Never gets any easier. Doctor, mark the time. Why don't we just have some quiet time and watch TV? I'm pregnant with your brother's baby! <laughs> That's right! Yeah, like, really? Yeah. She cheated on you like eight times last season. I don't care! She was my soulmate! Haven't you ever had a soulmate? Let's bring her here! What? No, yes. give me that! No, come on! Hey, my soul! Hey, give me yourself, Dr. Gilgamesh! By the altar gods! My mug! <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself, Dr. Gilgallon? Confound you, conscience! Condolences on your ceramic chalice. The crying maiden, is she your beloved? No. My heart belongs to my dearest Desiree. <laughs> Desiree. But I can't bring her to this world. Not in good conscience. It would break my heart. I know not of this world, nor its inhabitant, but 
If I learned anything while spending 400 lifetimes being murdered and resurrected on a daily basis at the fiery hands of Sagava, it is that life is unexpected and a heart torn asunder requires fellowship. And you may not be the only one who feels this way. <clears throat> day in and day out. Just don't. Yeah. Um, I think what I'm trying to say is that this just isn't my world. And clearly you thought this would be going a little differently. And I'm just sorry that I can't be who you want me to be. No, no, I, I, I shouldn't have forced you into this. It's just being alone is hard. Yeah, I can understand that. I'm gonna fix this. I'll get you home, no matter how long it takes. Shadows and simulations of that which we love. Pale in the light of true fidelity. Also, I used magic to reverse your room's function, so you're welcome, I guess. <gasps> Where were you? You were with that hussy, were you? That heir to the hospital, Arabelle Saint Hospital. Oh, I never gave a damn about her or her money. She never liked me. You get it. It was always you. By the Titans! She does not know of Arabelle St. Hospital's evil doppelganger! I know, right? It's ridiculous! Oh. <laughs>